With Chinatown just down the road, it's no surprise that Belvedere College has been teaching Chinese for the past few years. And this week, they have some special visitors. Heading into class as usual, but today is different for the boys as 12 students from Beijing are joining them. It's the first Chinese student exchange in this country, organised by Belvedere College and UCD's Confucius Institute for Ireland. It started when we linked first with uh, the uh, administrator in, in Hong Kong. He was a past pupil of Wayan, and he invited us to link with Wayan in Hong Kong because it's a Jesuit school and to uh, develop an exchange, which we did in 2008. And then uh, GC35, which was the General Congregation of Jesuits, talked about how we go to the frontiers. So they would be talking about the frontiers of our own society, like the Vincent de Paul and the Supron Weekly and stuff like that. But they also talked about Africa and China. So then with the Confucius Institute, in UCD, we developed uh, language teaching, ma uh, teaching Mandarin, and we uh, began the exchange and moved to Beijing to a cultural and language exchange where the students move in with the school and then go to the families and they experience the language and they experience the culture of China. And from what they've seen so far, the visitors have a few observations about Ireland. It's peaceful. Yes, peaceful because the the air in Ireland is very blue and. Uh, uh, no, the sky is very blue and the air is very pure. Um, just the people. People, they're like, uh, they're, they're really friendly and they're talkative. Talkative we are. Now, over 50 schools nationwide have these Chinese language and culture classes, with many due to travel to China this year and next. These Belvedere College students visited last year, so how was that? I don't know, it's sort of a one-off, once-in-a-lifetime experience because especially when you go over, you can do any tourist sites, but when you go over and stay with a family, you really sort of engage in the culture and get a real taste for what the people over there live in and how different it is to you as opposed to just being in a hotel or seeing the touristy sites. And even coming back and then having Tony stay with me has been so unbelievable because I can learn so much about his culture from just talking to him and everything. It's been a great experience. They're a bright lot who have already mastered the tin whistle and they've a special message in time for the Chinese celebrations.